My friends in Christ, the Lord be with you and bless you today. And on into this weekend and into this worship, uh, this time of worship on Sunday. I, I look forward to seeing you there, being with you there. Perhaps the only way you can be in worship these days is, is electronically, and, uh, but I pray and I hope that you are there too. Okay, so uh, how, did the, how did you do with the uh, Bible quiz of a couple of days ago? Did you totally rock the answer? Well, uh, let's just keep it rolling, shall we? So Bible quiz round two. Listen to the, uh, the Bible passage and see if you know where it is located. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the title of our devotion today is Growing Wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is insight. All right, so I can't see anybody. I don't know if anybody's going, oh, oh, I know this, I know this, or oh, yes, I've heard this. Or, okay, so once again, no timer counting down. This is a gospel-oriented game. So I'll give you a hint. Once again, I'm coming from the Old Testament, and I'll give you another hint. It's the book of the Bible right after the Psalms. Okay, so if you do like I do, I go Job, Psalms, Proverbs. Okay, so this is Proverbs chapter 9, Verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Like I said, the title of our devotion today is Growing Wisdom. And, and so I think you can make much of, of what Solomon says there in Proverbs, the beginning of wisdom, not the end-all, be-all uh, fear. Oh, by the way, not, not being afraid of the Lord, certainly we, uh, when we think about the majesty of God and the holiness of God and our unworthiness to come into his presence, we also rejoice and fall at his feet in worship and praise and veneration and reverence and fear, that kind of worshiping, loving ref uh, response of, of fearful, joyful uh, love and devotion. And that's just the beginning, if you will, of of wisdom, that wisdom continues to grow. And so I've got some companion verses for you to listen to as well, because I talked about wisdom a little bit this past Sunday. We celebrated Life Sunday, and the epistle reading for last Sunday came from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. So I invite you to listen again to some powerfully wise verses. This is verses uh, 18 to 25 of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God... The world did not know God through wisdom. It pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But to those who are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. God's word here is so powerful and wonderful, and that's just worth it. You know, I could just, let's just close with prayer right here. And, and I really don't want to say much more about that other than to encourage you to reread that and to realize anew, even God at his weakest, and of course he's never weak, can just outlast, out strengthen, outpower, overpower all of the power of the world. God in his weakest, most unwise moment, well, he doesn't have any. That's the wisdom that comes to you and to me in Christ Jesus, the power of Christ and his cross. And so how we rejoice in that and how we are encouraged day by day, moment by moment, and in worship on Sunday mornings as we receive God's gifts to know that it is because of him, the beginning of our faith, the author of our faith, and the finisher of our faith, that all we do is done in his name. 
And I was reminded of a really neat hymn that talks about that exactly. It is from the morning section of our hymnal, so beginning of the day. And so uh, we have these words from the hymn, With the Lord Begin Your Task. With the Lord begin your task, Jesus will direct it. For his aid and counsel ask, Jesus will perfect it. Every morn with Jesus rise, and when day is ended, in his name then close your eyes, be to him commended. Let each day begin with prayer, praise, and adoration. On the Lord cast every care, he is your salvation. Morning, evening, and at night, Jesus will be near you, save you from the tempter's might, with his presence cheer you. With your Savior at your side, foes need not alarm you. In his promises, confide, and no ill can harm you. All your trust in him repose in the mighty Master, who in wisdom truly knows how to stem disaster. We pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your wise word that gives us life. Bless us as we sit at your feet, listen to you, follow you, today and always. In Jesus' name, amen. God's blessings to you once again. I look forward to seeing you and being with you again next week in this time.